Everybody gets high sometimes, you know What else can we do when we're feeling low? Another night, another car wash. Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a while since I posted a video, so I said why not bring my camera out with me, see uh, what I can film. But here are uh, five things that I hate about my FRS. Okay, so the first thing that I do not like about my FRS is the noise that my engine makes. So what do I mean by engine noise? The FRS comes with a two liter boxer engine. So essentially, it's a Subaru motor with Toyota donating their injector system, basically. But pretty much everyone in the ADCS community knows that a stock NA FA20 motor will basically produce cricket noises. Now there's nothing wrong with cricket noises. There's nothing wrong with crickets. Apparently in some cultures, crickets are good luck. But when you're trying to drive a race car, when you refer to your car as a race car, when you have a sports coupe, anything like that, you don't want it making cricket noises. It just sounds really dinky. I go to the local 86 meet. You know, I ask people there, how do I fix the crickets? Is there a way to fix it? To go boost, boost your car. That's like a surefire way to get rid of those cricket noises. If only I had money, right? If only I had money. The second thing I don't like about my FRS has to do with the back seats. So in the FRS, it's basically a two-door coupe. So you have two seats in the front, but there's also two seats in the back for passengers. Now, I understand why Scion, well, Scion's kind of dead now, why Toyota and Subaru decide to include two seats in the back. I mean, I'm guessing it's probably for emergencies if you got to give someone a lift really fast, maybe to bring down the insurance costs. I'm not exactly sure. It's just kind of a burden when you gotta drive people around. There's no way you can fit a normal sized human being back there. I said that wrong. I mean, uh, there's no way you can fit, let's say someone that's like five, five or taller back there. Um, just because there's just no leg space. There's just no leg room. It's extremely uncomfortable. I mean, I tried sitting back there myself and no bueno, there's just no way. I mean, if you're buying this car, you're obviously buying it to take corners. You're obviously buying it for the driver experience, you're not buying it for, you know, driving people around. So, I guess I can't really hate that, but I still do. So if you get to sit in the front, consider yourself lucky. So the third thing I hate about my FRS is basically the torque dip. So in all 86s, the torque dip occurs between 3000 RPMs to 4000 RPMs, roughly, rough estimate. Um, but basically when you're full throttle, um, if you shift too early, um, you're gonna land right in the middle of the torque dip. So I mean, for daily driving, you're not really gonna notice it as much because I mean, I mean, I daily drive, I don't really redline all the time. I mean, I actually haven't redlined my car. I don't think I plan to do that just because I don't want to blow up my car. Um, but yeah, you're not going to notice it as much when you're daily driving it. But if you're pushing your car to the limits, you're going to notice the torque dip. I mean, on the performance side, it's going to suck a lot because it's going to take away, you know, you slow you down, you know, your track times are going to be as good, you know, stuff like that. You're, you're going to lose to that Miata. Um, but a few ways to fix this, you can get like a, a little portable tuner thing for your car. So a very popular one is the open uh, flash tablet. Torque dip sucks, but not all dip sucks though. Cheese dip is good. Fourth thing that I don't like about my FRS, these super, super crappy tires. So these are Michelin tires. They're the same tires that come on Prius cars. That's right, Toyota Prius. Now, these are only 17 by seven. So they're not the widest tire. The grip is pretty bad. I mean, I can like chirp out a second just taking a normal right turn. They're not the greatest stock tires. I mean, I wish they put something a little bit wider, um, something with a little bit more grip. But then again, I guess I kind of understand the reason behind it is so that you can kind of swing the tail out a little bit better, get a little drift action on your stock tires. 
But with that being said, I still hate these tires. Terrible, terrible tires. Terrible. The final thing that I do not like about my FRS is cabin noise. When I'm just daily driving this, just driving it around, not too bad. But if I'm kind of, you know, driving on the freeway, going long distance somewhere, it can get pretty bad. Uh, the sound insulation in this car, there's not much of. Um, so you hear a lot of wind noise, you hear a lot of, you know, things going on outside. Then again, I kind of understand why it's like this. Um, because, one, it's a sports car. Uh, so they kind of want it to be as light as possible. Two, it's not really a luxury type of car. I mean, it's a sports coupe. It's not really going to come with all, you know, the luxury amenities and stuff. At least uh, my year did it, and my model trim did it. So I guess it kind of makes sense why, you know, there's not much sound insulation, but it is kind of irritating, you know, driving on the highway, and you're basically forced to turn your music up pretty loud, just so you can kind of block out all, you know, the wind noise and stuff like that. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's a very minor thing that I don't like about my car. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's about five reasons why I don't like my FRS. I mean, honestly, this is a great car. Um, it's a great first car for anyone who wants a sportier um, tuner type car. Um, I had a really hard time finding five reasons why um, I hate my FRS. Um, so it just kind of shows that this car is actually really great. I'm very fortunate to be able to be able to drive an FRS and honestly I love it. I love driving it. If you guys like the video make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up please. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. But yeah, I'm going to be at the uh, Primal Driven Grand Opening for the retail store um, this Saturday. Um, it's going to be a whole bunch of YouTubers out there, you know, TJ Han, Evan Shanks, Danny Courtney, um, I think, I, I think that's how you say his last name. Can't forget the host too, Mike Nguyen, better known as uh, Smurf and WRX. Whole bunch of other guys are gonna be there. Um, so it's gonna be really cool. Um, so be on the lookout for that video. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching again and until next time, peace.